Her face may be hidden, but she has refused to hide. This is Lal Bibi, an Afghan woman in court, to seek justice for a brutal attack committed against her. Six months ago, four local police officers forcibly removed her from her home in the northern province of Kandus. She was kept hostage for five consecutive days, repeatedly beaten and raped. It may not be the first time that a rape trial has been held in Afghanistan, but it is the first time the country's media has held such an unflinching gaze on the case. Victims of sexual abuse rarely speak out, as the social and cultural implications of rape could have serious repercussions on their lives. Unfortunately, public response in Afghanistan is always several steps ahead of judicial action. When women's issues are raised in Afghanistan, they are treated according to common social norms and traditions. Local councils tend to resolve these issues even though their members usually lack Sharia or legal knowledge. They are not even trained. Usually these councils have no female members and this is the source of injustice against women. Sahar Gol is another victim of abuse. Her story is no different to that of thousands of other Afghan girls. Her brother sold her into marriage when she was just 14 years old. She was raped by her husband and beaten and tortured by him and other members of his family. Now she is 15 years old and living in a safe house somewhere in Kabul, which offers shelter, education and counselling. I'm really happy here. I'm only alive because of their help and kindness. I don't ever want to leave. The house manager treats me like her own daughter. I feel she is like my mother. My uncle tried to claim me twice, but I told him I would never go back. I want to go abroad, study and come back here and help other Afghan women like me. Even though her husband is on the run, his father, mother and sister have each been sentenced to 10 years in prison for the part they played in her torture. With the defeat of the Taliban's Islamic regime and ongoing attempts at fostering democracy in the country, many human rights organizations in Afghanistan are now striving towards attaining real justice for women. Culprits are not brought to justice. In the cases I'm familiar with, almost all of the offenders are on the run. It's really easy for them to run. In a country where sex crimes often go unreported for fear of being stigmatized, it is hoped that publicity from cases like these may help start changing people's attitudes towards rape victims. Marzia Mashkuri, BBC News.